Apple unveiled a slew of new features and updates at this year's WWDC that will impact every corner of its ecosystem. In addition to iOS 13, MacOS Catalina and WatchOS 6, Apple also unveiled the new iPad OS 4, you guessed it, the iPad. Users can expect a long-awaited dark mode in iOS, a more natural-sounding Siri, an Apple Watch that can stream audio and an array of new editing features for photos. Software changes weren't the only announcements at this year's WWDC, though. As expected, we're also getting a new Mac Pro this fall, complete with a new 6K Retina display with a revolving stand. Consumer demands for more security were also addressed with much-needed privacy updates, including a new sign-in with Apple feature for third-party apps. The Apple Watch will get its own app store. The latest update to WatchOS will allow it to run more independently from iPhone. Users can download apps right on their wrist. A new wave of first-party apps for Apple Watch include audiobooks, voice memos, and a calculator. The latest version of Apple's TV software will support both Xbox One and PlayStation 4 controllers. The wait is over for the new Mac Pro. We broke down the specs for the 2019 Mac Pro here. The base model of the Mac Pro will include an 8-core Intel Xeon CPU, 32GB of memory, a 256GB SSD and the Radeon Pro 580X graphics card. The latest version of MacOS is called Catalina. As we've learned, iTunes will soon be no more. Instead, your entertainment will be split into three apps, music, TV, and podcasts. Music will work with your local media library as well as Apple Music. Video editors will no doubt appreciate the inclusion of Afterburner, a hardware accelerator card that enables the Mac Pro to play 12 streams of 4K video. The iPad is getting its own OS. A new and improved Maps app will be unveiled by the end of 2019 that will include more detailed maps. 3D satellite imagery and enhanced privacy protections for location sharing. Another score for the security conscious. A new sign in with Apple feature promises to give users a quick way to sign in to third party apps without the added tracking baggage of using Facebook or Google. You can authenticate your logins with Face ID or Touch ID. Apple will even generate a random email address to be used on services if you don't want to use your real one. Emojis are about to get a lot more personal. Apple's Memoji will come with a seemingly endless array of personalization features, including makeup, jewelry, accessories, and more. You can use Memoji as iMessage stickers, as well as third party messaging apps like WeChat. The home screen is more useful, it can display more apps to launch, and you can pin widgets to it so you can see them whenever you unlock your iPad. The Base Pro will start at $5,999 and be released this fall. Karaoke just got a lot easier. Music you play on Apple TV will include an option to view lyrics. If there's any running theme in this year's WWDC, it seems to be better integration across all of Apple's platforms. Changes seemed aimed at making all Apple devices, from the iPhone to the iPad to the Mac to the Watch work better independently, as well as better with each other.